I'm all set. So thanks for being here. Today's focus is all around the buying and seller guide. So if you haven't been on your app lately or seen this, I'm gonna show it to you from the website perspective because that's easier to show than the phone right now. So I'm gonna to go to my website, which is J Team Global. And inside of here, notice there's no buyer or seller guide. So if you built your website, it doesn't have it by default on the screen unless they sign up for an account. Now I've already signed up as a test for a consumer account and I'm gonna go ahead and log in here as a consumer just to show you what we're teaching you today, which is the ability to see the buyer and seller guides. So give me a second. When I log into my account, and by the way, this does the same thing on the app because the app and the website are actually the same product. One of them you just access from a web page, and the other you access on your phone or your tablet of choice. So notice now all of a sudden I have a guide. This wasn't here before. So now on the app and on the website, if I register on your website today, I'm going to have a version of a guide. And it's going to go through the buying process and the selling process. Now the neat thing is you guys today are going to customize this because I'll share with you right now, your buying process starts with start your search, get pre-approved, yet you don't have the virtual buyer consultation yet. You won't have the signed buyer brokerage agreement, which I'll explain why in a moment. You don't have the ability to say to our homes virtually because everything we wrote it with when we first wrote these guides to give you something to start with was before COVID-19. So people were still physically going into houses to do things. Now we're starting to get back to that, yet we're forever changed. So I wanna make sure my guide has a choice. You can see it in person if it allows and um, here uh, remotely as well. So these are just different steps and we're able to customize these guides. We've also got a selling one. So I want you to kind of get a visual of what I'm talking about so that I can show you how to customize it. So by the way, while you're on here, if you haven't seen, there's a new video out today I made about the playbook. It's a new playlist on your home screen of command that allows you to see a couple of videos from Gary Keller. So he has this new series called Life L-Y-F-E, which is Live Your Future Every Day. I love the acronym. I've got it written on my desk right now because I think it's great. So there's a couple of videos now you can see on your home screen. And the cool part, these play right inside of command. You don't have to leave command. So no more hunting down on KB Connect. Where is the video? Those are really cool videos on there if you haven't seen them. But everything we're talking about today is related to the consumer. The consumer includes your website, landing pages, and your actual app. Now we've previously taught you how to go through the app and if you did the app setup under the site and app settings and you went through the Kelly guide here, which lets you choose to set up your consumer website, you did set up a, a version of the buyer and seller guide. What we wanna do today is how do I enhance that or remove something or rearrange the order of it? So inside of consumer, we're gonna to go to guide builder. This is the tool to help you build a guide. Now today, you only have two guides, a buying and a selling guide. In the future, and we're not talking like 10 years from now, in the near future, you're gonna have the ability to have multiple buyer guides and multiple seller guides. Because here's the reality. I might explain a veteran buying process a little bit differently than a traditional buyer or an FHA buyer differently than a cash buyer, right? I might want to have different selling guides, a luxury client or a commercial client. What if it was multiple guides and I chose the one that I wanted based on the type of buyer or seller they were? Today, you're going to create one that kind of fits everybody. So this is kind of your, your main general generic one. And in the future, we're going to give you the ability to create your own multiple guides. I heard from an agent today who said he wants a, a unique uh, condo guide. Great. We'll help you build that. Or I want to work with millennials. That's a different experience to give a millennial than maybe my empty nesters who are looking to downsize and to go there. They might want different information and it might be a slightly different process. So that's why you wanna start thinking in the future of what would those look like. So we're gonna start with guide builder and we're gonna do the buying guide first and then we'll go to the seller. Now, what this is telling me right now is I have a total of um, 11 steps in my buyer's guide. So yours may have a different number because I've added things to mine. And then I have 12 clients who have my app right now, which means 12 people have access to this guide. Same thing with the seller. Typically, these two numbers should be about the same. It just means it's already built into the app and website. So anybody who registers will have access to this guide. And there is the ability in the future to actually decide where they're at in the journey. So we're going to come to the edit button here for the buying guide. And when I go there, this is where it starts off with your search. Now, the process of this is you have two pieces, the guide and an introduction. 
So you're gonna have a little introduction paragraph for people working with you on the buyer side and one for the seller side. I like to start with the introduction because to me, that's the, hey, congratulations, you're buying a home or congratulations, you're selling a home, right? And this is the one that's written now. I believe yours is all gonna say the word Paul because when we were first creating these guides, we had a template and the template just used the name Paul. Now, I didn't wanna say J on all these because I have a team and I want my team to do this stuff. So I say our team instead. And I also added a little note here. Uh, please note due to COVID-19, now that was for Broward County. I'm gonna change that and just leave it more. Due to COVID-19, um, there may be local restrictions regarding physical viewings and showings. So that's just a way here. And now that we can do, uh, we can accommodate all meetings virtually and in person where allowed. So I wanted to be a message around that because that was a market of the moment. Now here's the reality. At some point that will go away as a primary thing. So I can change the message later. So it's not a permanent message. It's, it's a message for now. And you can come back as many times as you want and update this. So I liked what they had and I just added the second paragraph here. So if you like that as well, you can copy this. Anything I ever post and share, by the way, I do it freely for you guys to build your business to grow. So if you like it, I'm happy if you want to copy and replicate anything I've done. Because here's what I know, your clients aren't my clients. And that's okay. There are so many people that we all will have an opportunity to share this with them. So always come to your introduction and think what would it say. And eventually I'll have a your millennial buying guide. Maybe it's your, um, you know, empty nester buying guide. Maybe it's your investor buying guide. I'm going to have different versions in the future. For now, this is just the general one. And I'm gonna click save changes on that one. Oh, I went too far, too many characters. So I'll just take out that last sentence. It is limited to 300 characters. So I'm gonna save that part just to make sure I don't miss it. Perfect, and then I'm gonna to come to the guide part. Now the guide here is what is here. And basically this is an image, a little header and a description of each step of the buying process. Uh, yep, Betty, if you go to um, jstermack.com, jstermack.com slash downloads, you can access the uh, all the materials that I have, they're online for you guys to copy and paste. So we're gonna start with the start your search section. Now this section, if I click on it, gives me a little toolbar on the right hand side to customize this. So it already put an image in and if this doesn't look like your area or you wanna change this image, you can change it. It could be anything that you want. My advice is don't steal photos from the internet, go purchase one, uh, do what you need to for these. However, this probably won't get you as much trouble as other things will, uh, cause I don't have it on the MLS, but just get an image. So this one actually is fine. I'm fine with it in my area, but if you want a different image, you can click here to change it. Then it's got the first title. So this is just start your search. And I might say, start your home buying process, start your search is what it does. And then I didn't change any of this, by the way, this is what they pre-wrote for me. If you want to change it, you can change it. Now I say that, and I'm now looking at this, wondering if maybe I did change some of this, but uh, the first step in the guide is helping you identify the neighborhood you want to live in anywhere in the United States, save your favorite homes, then add them to a collection and where we can comment and collaborate. That's kind of the intro. Then below it is going to have this in-depth description. That's where you're going to put the real detailed information. And how this looks, by the way, is kind of weird here because you have these little boxes and you're typing everything in. How it looks to the consumer, by the way, is if I did that same step here in the buying process, start your search, this is where you have all the details. So the beginning part is supposed to be an intro paragraph. And then this is where you put the more detailed information. So starting your search, starting your search. So just to give you a feel of what you would do to change this, and when I'm done with this step, let me make sure there's nothing special there. I just go on to the next one. By the way, if I wanted to delete that step, here is the trash can for me to remove it. I'm not going to remove this one. And notice there's also a little tab here with six dots. That lets me rearrange the order of this. So I can technically click that and rearrange the order if I wanna do your searching later. Maybe I don't wanna help you search a home till you get pre-approved. Just some stuff that you can do so just so you understand how these tools work. So let's look at get pre-approved. This is one um, that they had already built in. What's neat about this is it actually will have Keller Mortgage built in. 
Now coming soon, if you happen to be in Canada or New York, because those are the two areas that right now Keller Mortgage isn't there yet, there is the ability soon to remove it from the app and the website. But what I love about this is it's already built in to say, hey, if you went to the pre-approval status, it would say, hey, here you go. Would you like to get pre-approved right now? Or just tell us you already have financing. If I say get pre-approved, it will take me to Keller Mortgage to apply online. So I love the fact that that service is automatically built into the selling guide and buying guide, I mean. So it's already built in and this is just simple. They've got a little person meeting, get pre-approved, why should you get pre-approved? And then it's done. So these two steps I haven't really touched. Then this is where I started making a change. So this originally was a buyer consultation. I changed it to be a virtual buyer consultation. And then this is the text I wrote. And again, I have this in the download you guys can get from me where you can copy and paste all of my guides and every step. So everything I'm doing, I have step-by-step -step copy and paste for you. So I did the whole sentence of, hey, with COVID-19 and keeping the safety of you and your family in mind, we're available on multiple video conferencing services to provide you with this virtual buying experience. So that's kind of how I listed it. And then down below, I kind of wrote out a little introduction about ways we can help people. And when I wrote this, by the way, this was at the beginning of COVID-19. So this is about two and a half months ago. But what's neat is inside of our website now, if I pull up any listing, doesn't matter where. So if I go to Phoenix, I want you to see that we built in the ability now to do a virtual showing right from the app and website. So your clients, if they click on any listing now, is going to have an option to schedule a video tour. This also includes in person if I need to. So this just goes hand in hand with everything my guide says. So I love the fact that KW has this out there now. So if you haven't seen this and it's a new feature to you, your app and the website both have an option to schedule a video tour. And what I like about it is you're going to choose three options that I, the realtor, can schedule this for. And then if it's video chat, we're going to have in here the option of maybe Zoom, Facebook Messenger. They basically gave you the option to add what platform do you want to use. Give us a note. And I love this. Your health and safety are our top priority. That's why we've added the option to tour properties that you're interested in through a live video chat. I don't think this is ever going to go away, guys. This is now the market of the now. We're here. People are going to now expect this from now on. So good news is we're already doing this. And now I just want to make sure I incorporate that in my buying and selling guide. Because the original guide was all about physical showings and physical consultations. And I want them to know we're going to do it virtually right now. And in areas as we start lightening this up, I'll just change the text to say we still have the option of virtual or we're now with limited access and safety precautions doing in person. I still think this is a high leverage to do it virtually. And this image, by the way, is available on my website. So how do you get these images that I've shared with you? Here's the trick. Just right click the image and click save. It will save in the right size that you need for this. I've had a lot of people reach out to me saying I can't get the images to save. Right click, save image, and it will download and save it to your computer for you. So that's all you have to do. And these are all the images that I've shared with you so that you guys can then turn around and put it in your guide. So that's the first one I did with Zoom, Skype. I created this graphic myself, by the way, so it's not an R&D and I didn't uh, buy it from some company. I made this image, so you have my permission to use it. <laughs> all right, so that's that step. And then this one I added because of Gary Keller. So at Family Reunion, he mentioned the fact that the National Association does an interview of all the top agents in the world and found that less than 40% or maybe even less than that use a buyer brokerage agreement. And Gary thinks that is your biggest opportunity and missed opportunity. I personally will never work with a buyer without them signing a commitment to work with me. You may not agree with that and that's okay. You don't have to add it. But I wanted to set the expectation because here's what I know. If the consumer sees this and I do it with every one of my clients, guess what? This no longer becomes an objection. It's just part of our process. So this is what I say. Hey, you're going to sign the buyer brokerage agreement. And this is a script I learned since we're professionals and we pride ourselves on providing an outstanding customer experience. We do this with our buyer brokerage agreement, which allows me to answer your questions to the highest level versus the state standard agreement, which protects the sellers. Boom. So I'm kind of putting this stuff together there. Again, you'll be able to copy and paste that from the content I shared with you. And then I just shared it there. We're excited to work with you. This is why it matters. And we're going to send you electronic signature from any device that you like. And you just sign this and you're just agreeing to work with us. 
making it a non-question. It's non-negotiable for me. This is, this is here. And if you're having worries about using this form, here's what I know. I don't go to the doctor's office without signing paperwork. I don't get cable without signing paperwork. I don't get uh, any other services without signing something. You're just asking these people to treat you like a professional. And it's just to be, meant to be here to be a process. So I've added that step. If you wanna add that step, by the way, how you add steps is all the way at the bottom is the add a step button. So this is the first step I've added. If I click add a step here, it lets me then create this card or I can select a default step and just choose one of the options. Well, they don't have that one yet. So create a custom step. So that's how I created it so that you can create one there as well. Then this one here of homes, tour homes was there. I just added the word virtually to it. Same graphic, same image. And I just added that we have to do things virtually. And now I've added things here. I'm gonna get rid of this restrictions locally because I am now in Florida with my license and Arizona as team leader and building a team here in Arizona. So I wanna make sure my app is basically location neutral because I can help refer to anybody. So that's some things that I have here. Please understand uh, this will not prevent you from purchasing a home. And then I use the rest of the stuff they already had. So I kept what they had originally. I just added the beginning part due to the restrictions. It might be a little bit of a different process than you've done before and that we're here to hold your hand and help you. So at least that way they feel confident with it. Save changes to that one. Perfect. Uh, make an offer. This is normal. I didn't change this. This was written the way it is and I've already added it here. Yep. I did nothing special on that one. So make an offer is already there for you. Execute contract. I don't think I made any changes to this one either. Again, if you don't like something here, you want to change it or you want to add something special about your area. That's what's cool about this. It's totally your guide. It shouldn't be the same as mine and yours. No different than your buyer or seller guides and consultation um, programs and documents that you share with people are different. This is your ability to add that value in here and customize it, which is why you might want to change the image as well. Because guess what? Your app and my app, even though they're built by the same company and look the same to start, will then become different. And then my value proposition as an agent is different than yours and will help me with it. And here's what I know, you guys. None of our competitors have this built in, nor the ability to customize this. This just became your value proposition. This is Josh team's example of the Domino's pizza tracker. We can actually track Mr. Buyer and seller. When we're on your app, where are you at in the process? So when you're in the buying process, did we start our search yet? And you're gonna be able to say mark is complete. Great, next, do we do our get pre-approved? Virtual buyer consultation, we're literally gonna go through there. Awesome there. So, um, yep, Jackie, I actually have that on jcermack.com downloads, and I already have that image right here. Just right-click and save it. So everything you need is on my website. Perfect. So that one I left alone, Home Inspector. Now, we don't have built in yet to command the ability to do your vendor list. It is coming, though. So if you use Homekeeper right now, or if you have your list of your recommended home inspectors, put it here in the details. That way you're giving it to them virtually. It's the only thing I haven't added yet. And I'm going to go through my office today because we have local vendors we're using and I will add them here as well. So this home inspection card, I left mostly the same, but I did add a little section because of COVID-19. We're not allowed to be in the property with the inspector. That's just where some rules are. Again, you can change those if you need to. Um, and what I might do as well is, do you need a home inspector? I might just put my recommended home inspectors. XYZ home inspection, ABC home inspection, here's their contact information, choose one. So this is a great place to start putting in your vendors and then guess what? Hey, Mr. Um, inspector Company, I'm so excited to work with you that I told my clients about you. Let me show you my app. Hello, get them to share your app and say, oh my God, my realtor is using this and help them get you one or two referrals a year from you showcasing this. All right, off the soapbox on that. But that's a great thing that you could enhance it with. Now, home insurance, we have Keller Covered, and Keller Covered is in all 50 states, by the way. So if you don't know what Keller Covered is, that is our um, home insurance, home shopping company. Think of Expedia for home insurance. So this is actually built into the guide automatically. When I come here to the make an offer, home inspection, home insurance. When I click on home insurance, it's gonna say, would you like to get home insurance or do you already have some? 
If they say no, go to Keller Covered. This is Keller Covered, guys. It actually shops around to some of the top carriers. Gary Keller said it on one of the life sessions I watched from command today that um, he knows some of our own people that are saving at their own carrier for home insurance, 100, 100 to $1,000 a year off because they went through this process. So we're gonna get the quotes from the top carriers and we're adding more and more every day. And you guys, this keeps you at the center of the transaction. And I love that it's built into every listing and now built into the guide. Home insurance, here's some basic information. And then they have the choice to get their own, but now you've recommended it. And if I have a local person I recommend, just add them here. Preview what that would look like, add it as an option as well for your vendor. So I didn't add that by the way, these were already here. I'm just enhancing these ones. Home warranty, this is a great place to include your home warranty companies that you have partnership with. Add them here in the text. I didn't change any of this, I left it as it is. But if you have a partnership with one of the home warranty companies, and make, make, make no mistake, home warranties will become the market of the moment again. So if you're not using one now, when we had the crash back in 06, 07, 08, what people used to do is with so much inventory, how do you stand out as a listing to attract more buyers. And what we learn is a couple strategies like, what about a pre, uh, certified pre-owned home? And I'm mentioning this to you so you can start thinking about it. If we ever do flip, where we have so much inventory that we're now competing to try to get a buyer to buy us, this is where the strategy comes into play. And what we did is we got a pre-inspection, which your home inspectors offer today, by the way, as an option if you wanna get it pre-inspected, a pre-appraisal where you get the home appraised before you put it on the market, and then a home warranty comes with it. It's a market of the moment. Talk about certified pre-owned home. It's like a certified pre-owned car. They do it, uh, car fax on it. They give me some inspections. They did the repairs on it, and then they give me a warranty that comes with it. And that gives me confidence and peace of mind. So I love that this is built in. I believe everybody I work with should have a home warranty because it has saved me as a realtor so many headaches. My own mother uses this and will never not I have a home warranty again because of how much it has saved her over time. And then the last step is closing. And all I added was the word virtual. Your new home closing here at hand. And I just added a section that we might have to do it virtually right now. Might do a remote closing and that's okay. If you know you're doing closings, don't add the word virtual. So that's kind of the steps to the buyer guide. If there's something you'd want to add to this, just come down here to add a step and add it. If you want to rearrange the order, click here to rearrange it. All right, so the buying guide's actually not too hard, but I thought I would spend a little time on why I made those changes as well. And again, if you want those, it's on jcermak.com. Click the downloads button right here, and you'll get, this is our buyer's guide, and now we're going to our seller's guide. So all the images and all the text, you literally copy and paste. I can't make it any simpler than doing it for you. All right, so guide builder, let's now come back and let's do the last one, which is the selling guide. Now this originally, I did not like it, I'll be honest. It was four steps. I'm like, couldn't you have made it a little beefier? <laughs> so it started with like four steps. So I added a couple and that one I added more. So I'll show you what they are. The tool works exactly the same as it did for the buyer's guide. So I don't have to teach you how do you use that part of it. It's the same tool. It's just different things. So introduction where we always start, congratulations on the selling process. Our team is happy to help you. So change the word Paul, if it says Paul to your name or our team. Um, I think everybody, by the way, should just say our team. Your mortgage person's on your team. The office is on your team. I don't care if you're an individual agent. If you say we are here to help you, my team is here to help you, there's just power in that. So you can change it if you want or give it a different name. It's your guide, call it whatever you want. So then we're gonna come to the guide. Now this I've added because yours starts with showing your home review offers, inspection, appraisal, and close. So you guys are all gonna start with five steps. Sorry, I exaggerated. One, two, three, four, five. These are the five you have. Now I added the word virtually showing your home because people were concerned. So I just talked about the fact that we're gonna do it virtually and we're gonna make sure we use things like Matterport and enhance things when we're showing your home. What I didn't like about this is what if you were thinking about selling a home? I missed the whole entire beginning process. This is assuming your home is listed on the market. Well, what if I can use my app and website to start having the pre-listing consultation as well? So that's why I added all the stuff I've added. So let's look at what I've added. I started with the virtual consultation of selling. 
because I'm a consultant. We're going to work with you either way. And I also said, due to the safety of your family, we can do this via same graphic virtually, right? We can have a video conference if that works for you. And I talk about how important your safety is of your family, because I am serious about that. And while we may not always be able to do face-to-face, -face, we're offering a virtual option. And by the way, forever, my team will always offer both choices, in person or virtually, because I think there's people who want to do that. So that's just kind of the thing that I added. I'm not going to go through the whole script. So if you download my seller's guide, here is everything I've added copy and paste it. And if you want to change any of the text after you pasted it, copy it. So that's what I added. I also want to do a sign listing agreement. Notice it's the same image I used on the buyer brokerage image. I just added the same one. So I want to make sure that they sign the listing agreement. Now that one, pretty much 99% of us have somebody sign a listing agreement. Yet we don't always do that with the buyer. <laughs> so from here, I've got, thank you for choosing the team to sell your home. We're committed with an exclusive right to sell agreement, you're choosing to hire us to work with you exclusively. So I'm basically just giving them an intro. Again, it's kind of the same image I had in the previous one. Um, I also kind of targeted my target audience. So I tend to work more with millennials. So I put a millennial couple in there. Now I'm not trying to discriminate against anybody because it's not, it's just who is your audience that you're working for. So if I work a lot with um, seniors or veterans, put a picture of veterans signing a paperwork. Put a picture of seniors signing on a home or something there. So you can also have the images target your audience. Professional photography. I made sure this is important. I was the person that taught you all to do cell phone images. And while I am skilled to use my iPhone to take great photos and stuff, it's not necessarily the best thing for the listings these days, especially if we're forced to do video. So what I've added now is two categories of marketing. One for professional photography. I will always hire a professional photographer on all of my listings. So that's just something I put in here because I want to make sure they know I'm going to use a professional photographer because it's the best way to show the home to the world. And I've added another step for the Matterport because I think having a virtual tour, and if you don't use Matterport, you can use another image of another service. There are plenty of devices out there and companies you can work with that offer these services. Now, I just said, hey, with COVID-19, it's more important than ever to have an in-depth home virtual tour. And that's where this technology really shines. And by the way, if you haven't seen it recently, Matterport now has an app on your iPhone, and I was able to do a tour of my office. So if you want to do it yourself now, your iPhones are smart enough if you have a newer one. Not to say don't still hire a professional photographer, but that's something in there. So virtual tour, 3D tour. This is something I wanted to make sure I do on every listing. Again, it's in here. It doesn't mean I have to do it in every one. I'm just adding it to say, we're going to make sure we showcase your home virtual tours. So then the next one I added, this one to me was really powerful because everybody says they market it online. Here's what I know they don't do. Have a partnership with Facebook directly. So I made this step. And again, you're going to get this in my guide to copy and paste. And the images are on my website. So this one is really simple. It's, hey, with over 2 billion active users a month, Facebook is one of the most effective strategies to promote and sell a home today. Combined with an Instagram strategy and other social media channels, we want to create an environment to reach more buyers on social media. And then I added here this paragraph. Did you know Keller Williams has an exclusive partnership with Facebook? So I want to highlight that fact because guess what? Your other competitors will say they use Facebook, but Facebook doesn't go to their offices and Facebook doesn't work with their technology team. So it's different. Then I did the showing of your home virtually, like I said. We've also added the other steps here of um, reviewing the offers. I didn't change any of this. Left it the same. Uh, inspection, again, we don't have to have the vendors on this one because you're just saying the clients are gonna do an inspection. It's also got the appraisal. So I'm talking about the appraisal process. By the way, if they list with Keller Mortgage, and I just had an aha, maybe I should add Keller Mortgage on this. Um, if we did a Keller Mortgage and a client did it, Keller Mortgage offers the, or orders the appraisal instantly. They don't wait for the inspection period. They just order the appraisal right away. So that's something valuable I could add here is when we list your home with Keller Mortgage and do it as a savings to the consumer, we can also have the appraisal done up front. It'll just be done right away. And then lastly, it's the close. Last step, here's what to expect. Again, you can always delete a step if you don't want it by clicking on it, hitting the delete button and click the add a step to add a step that you want. So in 30 minutes, you've just learned how to take the standard guide 
and to take it to the next level for you and your clients. So hopefully you found value in this. Again, this recording will be put on YouTube and my page later. Look at your own buying and selling guide and think what would you change? Start planning for the future of what would those other guides look like? You can get the downloads here and on our live streams, you'll get it uh, as well. Now, next week is Memorial Day. So we will not have a command training next week. I will still create some mini videos for you, but in June, we will resume every week in June on Monday at 1230 Mountain Standard Time, Pacific Time, which is 230 Central and 330 Eastern. We will have a 30 minute command skill session with yours truly every week in the month of June. So hopefully you guys 